Welcome to another episode of Flying Cat Phillips Stardew Valley. And let's check out the fortune teller. Hmm. Hidden well of knowledge. Sounds intriguing. Ah, they feel neutral. Yes! Yes! Give me a chance to screw up, and then I'm going to do something they don't like. Yes. This one's for all you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for Spring Onions, southwest of town, where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing. I think we got them yesterday. Whoops! Well, <laughs> any other tips? Yes, it's going to rot up what raining so it will water my crops for me the next day. Not that I have too many, but I have enough to say that I have some. Yay! Now, I am a little late with recording this episode in particular. It's been a weird week over here. And that is just so great. And on that note, I would like to uh, just give a friendly reminder that this is supposed to be a family friendly show, meaning if you do not want your kids reading your comments or your parents seeing those comments, then please. Do hold those comments to yourself. Well, I do want people to comment and let me know how I'm doing and give me some constructive criticism. I also would appreciate it if you kept the commentary family friendly and most of our communication is generally going to be about the game itself. And on that note, we are going to... Ah, I'm forgetting something. I need to introduce to you my co-host, Groot. It's a... Groot is a stuffed toy I have here. A gift from my husband uh, from a while ago, actually. I have a book. Ah, yay, the, the library gets a book. Well, I, I guess that works, too. And I am checking to see how much wood we need. 300! I... I don't have that much. <laughs> I also forgot to see if it... Forgot if it actually stacked that much. So we are going to go and run around and find money. Hopefully. The idea is to find money. Telescopes. Telescopes are nice. And how we are going to find money is uh, by foraging. Foraging and finding stuff on the ground. Which is definitely... We're hopeful that we will be able to find and forge some nice items. And promptly, I don't know where I'm heading to. But look, we found something. Already progress has been made. More progress! I need these for the Juno bundles, don't I? Yes, that's what's, what it's going to be. And we do want to be a little bit prepared for the Juno bundles. Even though this is a relaxed Let's Play, we do not want to spend uh, too long working on something that is going to be, or should be, really simple. Do you want something for me? Uh... See how your day is, maybe? I guess you, uh, you're very scared of other people, aren't you? Well, that's perfectly fine. We will not, uh, force you to talk to us right now. We have other things we need to do. We have to... Ooh. We have to get a few items, such as I would like to make a chest specifically for Junimo bundle items. And I would also like this. No. This. 
And that is the cat. Don't mind her, she just loves knocking things down. And uh, on that, some people say jokes. I'm not sure if they're very tasteful. Basically saying that you know the world is not flat because cats would have knocked everything off of it if it were. And since my own cat, she loves knocking things down, you will think that it is secure and safe and she will find a way to knock it down. It's very annoying. Ah, yes. Groot. Oh. Full inventory. Groot, my co-host, is here to try and help me sound less automated, honestly, which is very weird. Because I normally don't have a problem sounding very uh, animated. But it seems on these, maybe it's recording or something. I just do not quite sound, I, I don't really sound as animated as, there it is, as animated as I normally am. It comes off as more automated than animated. So on top of wanting to make a chest, we also, since we're clearing stuff out anyway, We also want to think about where we are going to be putting a silo. And how little energy we have. Which is a bit of a shame. I think I may want this area cleared up here. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear it. I'm not sure, but we might want it cleared. And then later on I'm going to say, but I want the trees up here. And then it's going to be, well, shame, you clear it. You have to plant them now and wait for them to grow. Which is completely doable. We can do that. We can be patient. And at that point we won't have much choice. We'll have to be patient, but it will be fine. The idea of a relaxed let's play is to, well, not stress out over everything. Because stressing out really is no fun. Did I have mail to check? This grass loves you so much. It would- I have no energy. I have no energy to speak of. But the plus side of having no energy is very simple. The idea now is to make the chest, there we go, and let's go ahead and make a few more torches. And maybe we will be able to get our forging skill leveled up to make something nice. Like maybe a scarecrow. Last episode our stuff was stolen, yes. We had a crow thief come and take some of our stuff. Junimo bundle of stuff, and it's going to be this color. And I'm going to hold it on my head because that obviously is where this stuff goes. Yeah, we only need one of each for that, so we are going to actually sell these and make the money. Why? Because we need to make money. We want a bigger house a silo and you need to pay for it. And we're gonna pay for it by selling stuff and making money. And up here we're going to put this torch just randomly seeming, no, we want a path here one day. Even though there is a giant um, stump, yes there's a giant stump there, we are going to want a path there. And it's pretty late now so, we're gonna go foraging a little bit more. If you feel like you are late to the party and you want to, say, have a say in the scheduling when these videos are posted, please feel free to go to Patron of the Arts 
episode three of Sardi Valley with uh, Flying Cat Phillips. And go ahead and leave a comment about time. I will definitely go read your comment. I am interested in what you guys have to say, especially if it's family friendly. And there's a frog. I don't know if he can catch the frogs or anything. Yes, that would be very weird. But I would definitely love to hear what you have to say uh, regarding scheduling. What days work for you? What days are you interested in videos coming out? And uh, are you just more interested in binge watching? Because that is something I really want to I want to know what your opinions are and thoughts on the matter of these happen to be. I also, I'm getting distracted. Yes, there are weeds and there's a house mysteriously over there. I believe it's uh, Rasmodius, actually. Hello, Rasmodius. I don't know you're there yet, so send me mail. I'm not sure if I can go see him before he sends me a letter. So, uh, I'll just barge into his house. Yeah. Yeah, that's a- oh. Oh, I can hear you, but you, you, you're, the door's locked. Okay, we cannot go visit Rasmodius early. So we can shake the book. Oh, we can shake the smaller one. Can we hide behind them, too? If we clear the leaves out, maybe. Ah. Uh, they, they are not great for hiding behind. They're, uh, I guess, a little short. But it's rather just a fun concept that we can do. Here, I'm going to shake this. And it's going to give me nothing. I wanted a pine cone, though. Yes, if I had a pine cone, I could potentially... Um, make a field snack once I get home. Hello, hello, you're out and running around. Yeah, I know, I'm going to sell it. You want to buy it? I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Well, that how health conscious of you. Although I'm pretty sure the saloon would, and the supermarket would be happy if you went and bought, bought some food occasionally. Fresh salads may be great, but you need protein. And uh, I don't think there's any protein in the area for a fresh salad. No! Wrong one! I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna hit that a few times and it's gonna do what I want, I guess. What I want it to do, I don't know. But it will do it! Just as soon as we all figure out what that is. Yeah, field snack requires one of each of the, the Seedling types, it will require an acorn, a maple seed, and a pine cone. And I do not have a pine cone. Which means I have very little energy. I'm waiting for a few other things to happen at the same time. There is some more interesting events that will be happening in the near future. I'm not quite sure how soon that is. So. I just know that they will be happening. Like the Junimo bundles. They will open up. They will be a thing that we will start working on. We've actually already started because this game is not new and I do remember about the Junimo bundles. I do not remember every single thing we need, but I do know we need one of everything that is forged from each season. So, of course, we're going to be locked out of some of that as we're not going to be able to get fall stuff right now in spring. Ah, uh, yes. I did get those uh, fresh onions, is it? Spring onions? Yeah, we, we did get them yesterday. They were not worth very much. And what did we do? 
we did not start fishing because the trees. The trees took all of our energy. We're not able to do that. And we will not need to worry about our watering can because it's raining tomorrow and the rain will take care of it. Ooh. Well, that's good. I can craft a cherry bomb. I don't really know what I'd do with it, but I can craft it. And, oh yes, mining went up. That's great. Pickaxe proficiency went up. We will be using that later on, which is definitely true. And, wow, we just out-earned the rest of the time. Yes, we did. We earned far more than we ever have on this game on the fourth day. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to hearing from y'all. And remember, keep it family-friendly commentary. Thank you very much, and have a good day.